Senator, yeah. uh, you're leading the you're leading the charge uh, along with a couple other Republicans, a few other Republicans on immigration reform through the Senate. It passed committee. When it goes, do you believe that immigration, as it looks right now, will have the 60 votes necessary to move to the House? No, it, and I think even the Democrats would concede that. And there's a few reasons for it, but one of the things we've learned over the last few weeks through the open and, and process that, it, that it happened through the committee process and all the public input that we've gotten is how little confidence people have that the federal government will enforce the law. In essence, what people say to us is, we know we have to reform the legal immigration system. We know we have to deal with the 11 million people that are here illegally, but we're only willing to do that if we can make sure that this never, ever happens again. We don't want to be back here in two years, five years, 10 years, dealing with another five or 10 million illegal immigrants. And so that's the key. And people don't trust the Department of Homeland Security to do the job or to come up with a plan that will do the job. So I think we'll have a lot of work to do in that regard if we actually even want to pass it out of the Senate. And I think the House has its own criteria that they're going to apply. So this is nowhere near being done. I'm optimistic that mm -hmm. something good for our country can happen, but it needs to happen the right way. And that's what we're going to continue to focus on. But, but if it's not done, Senator, why'd that? you vote for it? Why'd you, why'd you vote for it out of committee? Well, first of all, I wasn't on the committee, but let me just say right. that, so I didn't vote for it out of committee. Right. But listen, I worked on the drafting of it as a starting point. We always said that's what it was. And I think 90% of what's in that bill is stuff that's not controversial. We reformed the agricultural yeah. workers program. We reformed the programs with regards to high-tech visas. And we go away from a family-based immigration system to a merit-based immigration system. But there are parts we, of it that still need to be improved. That's the I way the legislative here? process should work. Well, the, I think the great, this, 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 the, look, I, I, I think Marco Rubio, if he were in charge, Marco, if you were in charge of enforcing the border, I wouldn't worry about it at all, OK? If, you, if that was you doing it down there, and if you were absolutely doing it. but. People, you're right, have no faith in, in this border actually being enforced. They know that when Chuck Schumer, Dick Durbin, and Bob Menendez are giddy over the passage of a bill, Republicans, conservatives, uh, most people in the middle class who are seeing their wages stagnate or go down have something to worry about. So they're looking to you for leadership, uh, Senator Rubio. And I can tell you from my radio listeners, they think it's time to stop dividing the Republican Party on this issue with all your good intentions, and I know you have them. You're a terrific person. Uh, but people want us to focus on jobs, the economy, and raising the middle class uh, lifestyle and the wages here in this country before we start tackling an issue with this comprehensive approach, which I think we've seen uh, from Janet Napolitano getting all this discretion, is a very, very tricky business. Well, I think there's agreement about the discretion part, and that's what we're working on addressing. As far as immigration and the economy is concerned, it actually is linked to the economy. When, if you look at our legal immigration system, if we didn't have a single illegal immigrant, we'd still have to l reform our legal immigration system because it is related to our business and our and ability of our we'll do economy that separately. to grow. Right, well, do it the separately. problem is that they're all interrelated. If but, you look at one of the drivers of illegal immigration is that we don't have a legal immigration system that works, for example, for temporary or guest workers no. in the agricultural sector. As an it's example. not a top priority if, for this country. If Janet Napolitano is well, in charge of it, I don't think you could possibly get it past the, the yeah. House. Right. Objective right. metrics. We need objective well, metrics. No wiggle room. I would just remind everybody that uh, the president, uh, the good news is he'll only be president for the for next three and a half years, and, and that the longest she'll be around is that long. I hope they'll be replaced by people that are more serious about applying our laws and enforcing them. And that's what we intend to do in this bill. This bill is not a one-year deal or a three-year thing. It is a 10-year process. There'll be another administration in charge right. of implementing this stuff. And our job is not just to leave it up to them, but to actually come up with specifics right. in that bill. Sam